Hello, my name is Brian Cox and in this video I'm going to demonstrate my Applied Maths and Physics project. As you might have noticed, this is a modified version of my Programming 2 chorus game, Ghost and Goblins, but instead of throwing projectiles such as lances and daggers, I've added a wrecking ball and you can throw this ball at the, the enemies and that's based on the position of your mouse cursor. So the closer your mouse cursor is to the hero, the less force he will add to it. The further away the mouse cursor is, the bigger the force is that he will launch the, the ball with. The game... Oh, I just got hit by the projectile of the plant. This game is based mostly on uh, vectors and matrices. For example, if I kill a zombie, you can see his head uh, roll to the ground. Uh, that's done by a uh, rotating ma matrix. Here, for example, I've added some slowing effect. Uh, this is done by adding friction uh, to the character to simulate some sort of quicksand. Now I just need to avoid these incoming monsters. I can do this by crouching so they don't hit me. My uh, hit region will be changed when I'm crouching or when I'm standing up. I died now and I really don't want to start over so I'm just gonna use a sheet and spawn from here. Okay so now we've reached the final boss and I'm gonna show you another physics formula. Basically I can knock the boss back. This is done by adding a mass to the ball and to the boss. So for example if the boss will hit the orb he will kick the orb back. If I will hit the boss I will knock the boss back. So this is done by calculating the momentum of both the boss and the wrecking ball. Each of them has a momentum and a velocity as well. And when I calculate those using another physics formula, I can calculate which of the two has to fly back. Uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it.